Hey, it's Matt here at London Grapple with Will. I'm um, just going to go through some options for controlling an opponent who's um, on all fours, uh, particularly for like a, an MMA kind of situation where my partner's really just focused on getting back up and getting away from me. They're not um, happy to kind of play and look to sit through a guard. Their, their number one goal is to stand up as explosive and fast as possible. So however I found myself in this position, maybe from a sprawl takedown, uh, maybe from a, a failed guard pass or something like that, I've, I've ended up with Will in a turtle position here. Now, if he's just looking to get up, it can be quite difficult to control people from this position very quickly. Particularly if he's an athletic guy, you'll be able to post on his hands, post to his feet, start working his feet towards his hands, coming up, fighting my hands. And the higher he gets, uh, the more work that's giving me to keep him down on the mat. So one good, op good option we've got is to use a, like a, a four point mat return style takedown here, where as Will starts to build up and I realize that he's got up to his hands and feet, I try and stop him bringing his hands towards his feet by dropping my shoulder under his and locking my hands like so with like a high body lock position. Now, what I also want to do now is I've made it difficult for him to bring his hands to his feet. I also want to make it hard for him to take his uh, feet towards his hands. So I'm going to step on his foot. Now, if he tries to make that movement where he's bringing them together, it should be quite difficult for him. He's carrying a fair bit of weight. All I need from here is to step across with a circling movement. And that should help me break Will down to a hip. Now, if he falls straight to his shoulder like this, again, that's great. I can just look to start securing top position. But if um, he's really focused on getting back to his feet, what's likely to happen is he'll fall to an elbow and then he'll begin to build to his hand, okay? Now, this can be a little bit more difficult to control him from this position. I could try and shoot up for a back take, but particularly in MMA, I risk the, um, the situation where I fail my back take I fall off and I end up on bottom. So it's going to be more useful for me to try and control in the top position. So I'm going to reach across my partner's shoulder. And the first thing I want to do is get him off that hand. So I give a pull towards me to pull him back down to his elbow. Now, as soon as he goes to an elbow, this gives us a great opportunity to secure a, a wrist ride, or as it's becoming more popularly known, the Dagestani handcuff. I'm going to immediately secure this with two hands. The reason being, if I just take with one hand and Will does like a, a swinging movement with his arm, sometimes he can clear that arm and come out from this position. I have to repeat again. If I secure the arm with two hands, very difficult for him to do that. My weight now goes forwards and I'm looking to trap him over his arm. Now again, there's a good few options for me to just move around and start threatening his back from this position. but. If I want to get more control and move into a position where I can effectively use strikes, I think a lot of the time it pays that I start to walk towards his legs. So I'm going to move over Will's legs and I'm just going to use these crab hooks here to pin his legs down and apply some pressure into the legs. Okay, this gives me one hand secure in his wrist and one hand free. Here I can start striking and I have options for strikes. I can strike round, I can strike to the body, or I can strike through his cover. If he starts to build up to his hand there, again, I have good options for striking, and I can also start levering this arm forward to work him into more compromised kind of belly down positions. If he tries to stand back up from this position, it's gonna be really hard for him because, you know, he's just so far away from being able to work his, his elbows towards his knees and get back up. So we'll work through that again. I start with my partner in turtle. He's good and he's quick, so he pops straight up to his feet and his hands. I drop my elbow into the armpit and stand on his foot. Come back a little bit so we've got a bit more space. Move this way. Pop him back up, elbow in, standing on the foot. Now with a circular movement, I drop him down to his hip. He falls on his elbow this time and then immediately builds up to his hand. It would be really difficult for me to just use this body lock to circle him down to an elbow. So I reach across to his collarbone here. Now from this position, even if he tries to stay up on his hand, I should always be able to rotate him back down. Wrist, wrist, double control. And then I use my chest almost to project and put weight over that wrist. You should feel a decent amount of pressure now as he tries to move around, you feel that? Yeah. Clear my hand and walk out and start to work across his legs. 
Again, if he's posting this hand and looking to come up, this is always going to give us big spaces for strikes. And also, I can start bringing his hand forward here. We show that from a different angle so you can see what's going on with my legs. So we'll turn and face in this direction. I'll stay on this side. I started out with a turtled opponent. He's built up to four points. I drop my shoulder underneath and stand on his foot. I'm going to use a circling movement to pull him down to the mat. I've got to be careful not to pull him on top of me here. A common mistake you'll see with this is guys will drop, pull the guy here, and whilst I can establish back takes again, that's probably not in our best interest for MMA, where we want to be on top and we can, we can strike more effectively. So what I'm going to make sure I do is my shoulder drops and I stand on that foot, is I pull Will into space, so I'm staying on top. He builds up to his hand, control the collarbone, pull down to an elbow, feed the wrist through. Now look, as he's starting to try and build back up by scissoring his legs, it's pretty easy for me to start walking my feet in and splitting his legs apart here. If he tries to get up from this position, very hard. Strikes and clearing the elbow. So one more time, um, a little bit quicker this time so you can see everything working together. Facing this direction, we start turtled and we're off. 